In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and access Drive File Stream. One of the biggest challenges staff and students have mentioned that in wanting to edit or work with Microsoft or PDF documents or Photoshop documents, uh, we have to download and then upload then delete the original. Well, we don't have to do that anymore. Using Drive File Stream, you can access your Google Drive via your file explorer. So all I did there, this is what we're going to get to. Google Drive, you have your drive and your team drives. And then I'm going, I've got a Word document here. I'm going to just double click on this. It will automatically open in a Word document. I can make a change. Control S just to save over the original. Close the document and you can see that it's uploading because it's got it back up to the cloud still. When I double click on it again, you can see that the changes have been saved. I haven't had to duplicate files. And this is where we really want to get to. We really want to utilize Drive File Stream. To get Drive File Stream, many staff, you will already have it. So all you have to do is in the search bar, you will just need to type Drive and you're looking for a drive file stream, it's gonna prompt you to log in like you normally would. Let's just say when you come down here and you don't see drive file stream, but you see backup and sync, well, we're not using backup and sync. So we're going to go to our Google Drive and then in the settings area, in the cog wheel up the top, we've got the option to get drive file stream for Windows. If you have a Mac, it'll say for Mac. I'm just gonna click on that. And I'm just going to select download and install drive file stream, download for Windows. And it's going to start downloading. By downloading, we get, click on the executable file. It's going to ask if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. You need to select yes. Once it's downloaded, it won't open automatically. So you'll need to come back to the bottom left, type in drive. There it is, drive file stream. For me, because I've already logged in, it's not prompting me to log in again. So if you go drive files, a window will pop up. You just log in with your at cns.catholic or the at cns stu if you're a student. I personally like to have my drive folder quickly accessible. So to do that, once you've logged in uh, and you've gone next and the screen will disappear, you'll be able to access your Google Drive. It'll be in your file explorer window. Uh, I've just right clicked on the My Drive folder and said pin to quick access. And that will pin my drive folder up here in this top section of file explorer. And that's my quick access. Pretty straightforward. But if you run into any issues, uh, don't hesitate to come find me. Now, rem remember staff, you will already have Drive File Stream. So you will just need to go in the bottom left, type Drive and click in Drive File Stream and log in as you normally would.